What were these synchrotrons built for? It seemed like physics had fulfilled all its fundamental tasks. An atomic bomb had been created, and nuclear power stations had been built. As a matter of fact, it was anticipated that in the following years a controlled thermonuclear program would be implemented. Particle physics almost came to an end. All the particles needed to assemble an atomic nucleus had been discovered. A new kind of particle carriers of nuclear force were discovered. It seems as though the end of physics was in sight, as mankind had discovered almost all there was to discover. And in fact, all these large facilities were built either to discover a missing particle or to uncover some particles that will complete the physical picture of the world. But at the beginning of the operation of these new accelerators, thousands of new particles were discovered. There were times when new particles were found almost every day. The scientists came to the realization that all the work to create modern nuclear physics and high-energy physics was still ahead of them if they wanted to somehow make sense of the abundance of the newly discovered particles. The particles differed drastically by their lifespan, by their physical properties, and by their electromagnetic charge. In 1961, a theoretical physicist, Murray Gell-Mann, suggested a classification system of particles, which had already been discovered by that time. Initially, he looked at it exactly like at a classification system. It was half-jokingly called the Eightfold Way because of the popularity of Indian Buddhism in Europe at the time. This was, in fact, a description of an interacting particle system with a certain type of flavor symmetry. In 1964, based on this idea, a certain concept of particle description was independently proposed by Gelman himself and by George Zweig, both theoretical physicists. It was based on the introduction of some new hypothetical components or elementary particles called quarks by Gelman and aces by Zweig. The word quark itself comes from Gelman's taste for the works of James Joyce. For example, Joyce's novel Finnegan's Wake has the line three quarks for muster mark. Exactly from this line did the terminology of the modern nuclear physics come into existence. Originally, the newly introduced particles were regarded as some illustrative concept of the classification principle. The quarks themselves were never observed in nature. These are particles with a fractional electrical charge and an array of specific properties. And at that time, there were no indications that it was a real particle. 